Coming up on 5-Minute News. Donald Trump guilty of fraud in New York civil case. Congress in crisis mode as Senate unveils shutdown bill. And California raises taxes on guns and ammunition to pay for school safety. It's Wednesday, September 27. I'm Anthony Davis. A New York judge found Donald Trump and his family business fraudulently inflated the value of his properties and other assets in a major defeat for the former U.S. president that could severely hamper his ability to do business in the state. The scathing decision by Justice Arthur N. Gorin of New York State Court in Manhattan will make it easier for State Attorney General Letitia James to establish damages at a scheduled October 2nd trial. Ngoran also ordered the cancellation of certificates that let some of Trump's businesses, including the Trump Organization, operate in New York, and ordered the appointment of a receiver to manage the business's disillusion. The judge described how Trump, his adult sons, Don Jr. and Eric, the Trump Organization and other defendants, made up valuations and inflated Trump's net worth to suit their business needs. That is a fantasy world, not the real world, Engoran wrote. The judge also sanctioned the defendant's lawyers for making preposterous legal arguments and fueling their clients' obstreperous conduct. Trump is seeking the Republican presidential nomination for 2024 and has maintained a commanding lead in the race despite the criminal charges he faces in multiple cases. Congress rushed headlong into crisis mode yesterday with a government shutdown days away as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy faced an insurgency from hard-right Republicans eager to slash spending even if it meant halting pay for the military and curtailing federal services for millions of Americans. There's no clear path ahead as lawmakers return with tensions high and options limited. On an evening vote, the House Republicans narrowly agreed to start debate on a package of bills to fund parts of the government. But it was a short-lived victory because it's not all clear that McCarthy has the support needed to actually pass the bills in the days ahead as holdouts demand steeper spending cuts despite a deal already agreed with the White House months ago. With just five days to go before Saturday's deadline, there is no end game in sight. Trying to stave off a federal closure, the Senate pushed ahead with a bipartisan stopgap measure to keep offices funded temporarily through November 17 to buy time for Congress to finish its work. The Senate advanced the bill late last night on an overwhelmingly bipartisan vote, 77 to 19. The Senate bill would fund the government at current levels and include about $6 billion supplemental funding for Ukraine and $6 billion in U.S. disaster assistance that has been in jeopardy. It also includes an extension of the Federal Aviation Administration provisions expiring on Saturday. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called the temporary measure from the Senate a bridge towards cooperation and away from extremism. California will ban people from carrying firearms in most public places while doubling the taxes on guns and ammunition sold in the state under two new laws Governor Gavin Newsom signed yesterday that will test the limits of the U.S. Supreme Court's new standard for interpreting the Second Amendment. The federal government already taxes the sale of guns and ammunition at either 10 or 11 percent, depending on the type of gun. The law Newsom signed adds another 11% tax on top of that, making California the only state with a separate tax on guns and ammunition, according to the gun control advocacy group Brady. The money will pay for security improvements at public schools and a variety of gun violence prevention programs, including those geared towards young people in gangs. The money from the federal tax, which has been in place for more than 100 years, pays for wildlife conservation and hunter education programs. The laws were some of nearly two dozen gun control measures Newsom signed on Tuesday, but he acknowledges many of these laws might not survive legal challenges now that the U.S. Supreme Court has imposed a new standard on interpreting the nation's gun laws. 
Just last week, a federal judge struck down a California law banning guns with detachable magazines that carry more than 10 rounds, one of three major pending cases challenging California's gun restrictions. The new law specifically bans people from carrying guns in 26 places, including public parks and playgrounds, public demonstrations and gatherings, amusement parks, churches, banks, zoos and any other privately owned commercial establishment that is open to the public, unless the owner puts up a sign saying guns are allowed. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate. Delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.